You want powerful and reliable solutions from one single manufacturer? Then it's time to get to know the single-phase solution from SunGrow, a combination of hybrid inverter and battery. All you need from one single source, beyond the expected. You may find a detailed installation video of the single-phase hybrid on the SunGrow YouTube channel. In this video, we will focus on the installation of the battery. Before starting the installation, please read the safety instructions in our manual. The SunGrow battery is designed in a modular way. This gives a maximum of flexibility in adjusting power and makes installation very easy. The battery basically consists of a base, modules, top cover and switch gear. So, let's get this done. You need a suitable place for the single-phase solution. This means it should be a room where no flammable materials or gases are stored. The ambient temperature should always remain between 0 and 45 degrees Celsius. Furthermore, the battery needs to be well ventilated and should not be exposed to direct sunlight, rain or snow. All screws and connectors required for the installation are already included in the delivery. You only need cables and your own tools like screwdrivers. In case it's needed, you can add height-adjustable feet to the battery. They are part of the delivery scope. And off we go! The battery has to be fixed to the wall with the wall mounting plate. Check the user manual to find out on which height to place the holes for the wall bracket, which is needed to fix the battery to the wall. Measuring starts from the base of the battery, not on the floor. The height depends on the number of modules you are planning to use. The bracket will be mounted on the top battery module. After defining the right position, you need to mark the position of both outermost holes for drilling. Take your drill with a 10mm drill bit and drill at least 70mm deep into the wall at the marked points. Now, let's start with building up the battery. Pay attention to leaving enough space between wall and battery. This is mandatory, as the cabling will come out at the back of the battery in the end. With 33 kilograms, the individual modules are easy to handle. They are designed to be installed in a simple plug-and-play style. Fix the modules on both sides with the included M5 screws. Next step is to connect the switch gear to the base. Slide it into the foreseen slot on the right side of the battery and fix it with the included M5 screw. Once all modules and the switch gear are in place, it's time to fix the battery on the wall. You'll need the included M4 screws for the wall and M5 screws for the module. Now let's come to cabling. The battery has four connectors. Grounding, P+, P- and one terminal for communication with the hybrid inverter. Let's start with the grounding. Fix it on the battery side and connect it to the ground at the bottom of the inverter. In the next step, the battery needs to be connected to the communication plug of the single-phase hybrid. The sealed RJ45 connector is part of the delivery scope, simply connect it to your cable. The white-orange cable of the communication cable is connected to pin 1 and the orange cable to pin 2 on the RJ45 connector for the battery side. Connect the communication cable to the battery. The other end of the cable can be connected to the single-phase hybrid via Ethernet or via the pins 2 and 4 of the communication plug. Remove approximately 4 to 5 cm of the cable sheath of the communication cables. Then strip approximately 5 to 7 mm of the inner cables. Fit the cables with end sleeves before you push them into the plug. The SunGrow battery is connected to the CAN interface. In the next step, the battery will be connected to the single-phase hybrid via SunClix connectors. Pay attention to the correct polarity. This is marked on the inverter and the battery. First, insert the cable until resistance is felt. Now, the cable is fixed to the connector by pushing down the spring. A clear click can be heard when it clicks into place. Tighten the plug. That's it. Connect the power cables to the P- and P+, port on the battery side. The cables also need to be connected on the inverter side. 
Fix the switch gear with the stud, which is part of the delivery scope. Due to continuous product updates, the fixing may work a little different. Check the user manual for the latest instructions. Make sure that all cables are correctly positioned to fit into the intended recess in the cover of the battery. Place the cover on the battery and fix it on both sides with the included M5 screw. Clip in the side cover. That's it! Quick and easy! Beyond the expected! Now it's time to start the system. First switch on the AC circuit breaker and second the DC circuit breaker on the left side of the inverter and on the right side of the battery. Wait for about 10 seconds till the status LED on the battery starts blinking. Press the power button once. When the light shines continuously, the battery is ready for use. If this is not the case, please refer to the manual, where you will find a breakdown of the different light signals. That was it. The system is ready to run. If you already have set up the hybrid inverter in the iSolar Cloud app, the battery will automatically be detected and added to the system. If you still need to set up the whole system, you may find a detailed commissioning video on our YouTube channel.